Hey, Pastor Lee here. How's everybody doing? Hope you're having a good week so far. Uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about insecurity today. Insecurity is something I have found through many years of counseling a lot of people struggle with. I have struggled with it. It's this feeling that we're not worthy, that we don't have any value, that we're not worth certain things. And when you struggle with insecurity, it makes you settle in life. You accept things that are not what God would want for you because you don't feel like you're good enough to go after those things or that you're worthy enough to receive those things. I'm reminded in the Bible about a man named Mephibosheth and King David tried to give him this enormous gift and and he tried to reject it because he felt like he just wasn't worthy and we do that a lot. And, uh, and so one of the things that I share with people when um, in counseling sessions is a hypothetical situation. So I want to share that with you this morning. Imagine that you're in an art gallery and you want to buy some art. And uh, you're looking at this one particular piece of art and you like it, but you don't really know if it's worth anything or not. And, uh, and two different men come in and the first man says, this, this work of art is horrible. I wouldn't give a dime for this. It is so bad. It's just, it stinks. And then about five minutes later, this other man comes in and he says, uh, this is gorgeous. And he calls the, the uh, art gallery uh, director and says, how much for this? And he said, I'll pay, I'll pay you a million dollars for this if you'll give it to me right now. And if you're sitting there watching that, how do you know which one to believe? Is it the first one or the second one? And, and the key would be to understand, well, what did they know about art? What if the first man is, is an art connoisseur and really knows art, and the other guy is just some rich guy who wants to blow some money? Or what if it's vice versa, and the first guy who says it's not worth anything uh, has no idea about art and doesn't know what value is in the art world, but the second guy does. The key is finding the expert. If you wanna know what something's worth, you have to find the expert in that field. And the reality is, the truth is, that the only expert of human value is God himself. Uh, there's no way that, that I can put value on certain human beings uh, more or less because I'm not an expert. Um, only God is the expert. And God has said that we were all created with value. We all have the breath of God in us. We all were made in the image of God. Whether you're a Christian or non-Christian, every human being is has uh, the same value. We are all valued highly enough by God that he would die for the entire world. And so there's no one person that has more value than another. Uh, and yet we still feel that way sometimes. And, and the key is, is to discover the truth. And the truth that I want to share with you today is that you have been fearfully and wonderfully made by God. The word fearfully, the best way for me to explain it is imagine a father who wants to uh, get a, a model airplane for his son who just has been dying to have this model airplane. And it's very important to him. And the father, because it's so important to his son, wants to make sure it's done just right, but it's too complex for his son to do it on his own. So the father is really helping and being very hands-on with it and being very careful, very meticulous to do it just perfectly so that the finished product is beautiful. So when it says that God made you fearfully, it is saying that he took his time, that he was meticulous, that he did everything just right, just perfect, so that you have been made in a, a glorious, glorious way, and that you are his pearl of great price, that he would die for you. And so anybody who sees you as less than, whether it's yourself or somebody you love or somebody uh, in your workplace, if they see you as less than or treat you as less than, it's not true because they are not the expert in value. The truth is you have been fearfully and wonderfully made and you have value in the eyes of God. Don't let your own fears, don't let what other people have thought about you, don't let what other people have said to you cause you to believe in yourself less. You are a child of the king, a prince, a princess, and nothing less. You guys have a good week. God bless you. Bye-bye.